Hello, everybody. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this uh, video will help you out. Been thinking about this video for a while, and uh, so on. Um, I want to give it a credit to my partner because she pointed me out about this point. She had a dreams about it. And that's the power within the souls, uh, within the soul connections, guys. And, um, you know, sometimes it's hard to, uh, to get all this out in the videos. And specifically about this, uh, about this video we're talking about uh, in there. And uh, I want to be talking to you about the portal. You see the portal of uh, Age of Aquarius that is going to be really opened. That energy is specific, uh, is particular, is very powerful. But uh, begins from a uh, few years back. Uh, that is this Pluto energies uh, that it's connecting with Pluto entering uh, Aquarius and uh, the portal is going to be opened uh, but before it opens it's important for you to understand that the portal it has to be work with you with your own energy are you going to willing to change about uh, this portal are you going to be ready for it there is something particular is going to be happening I want to be talking to you about it. Hopefully you stay by the end of the video. That is entirely up to you because I seen it that most of the people missing the points and later on they ask about it when you tell them, well, like, well, I watched this video, but I didn't see that. So this is entirely up to you. It's a important video. It's a special report about the portal of age of Aquarius and what is going to happen. Things is going to begin now. I'm talking about, uh, they've been begin for about uh, two years for right now. So if you've been preparing for yourself in the past two years, you will understand what's going on right now. I'm going to be talking to you about a specific date in the sky. That is it going to be a 21st of January. That is it, the moment where the sun enters Aquarius. Talking about the authority that it entering in there. What's going to happen this year with this? And I'm going to be giving you the, the chart that kind of like a blow up a little bit for you so you guys can have a um, better ways of seeing at this. And talking about that this year, we are going to be having this uh, energies in there. There are going to be unifications. They're going to be preparing for unifications. There's going to be a rough time testing the connections. Testing the, are you uh, going to be able to cross over? Are you going to be able to begin to see what is a you creating of the future of Aquarius? What is that energy is going to be for you? So uh, talking about this 21st, uh, as you see it here on your screen, that is at this point right in here. If you kind of like a focus within that energy is uh, in there, that is a one of the sun and Pluto and entering uh, Aquarius. We are going to have uh, in February, we're talking about February 15th, Mars and Venus, they're going to be coming in, in there. That is the unifications within the soul. But uh, we're going to be talking about this later on. We're going to be talking about one of the feminine and masculine energies transforming which is today, this year, this is what is going to happen. And when I'm saying that this is going to happen, you are going to feel it, but there is going to be the pressures uh, within your internal pressures. If you learning and navigating the new energies inside of you, your new self, your new real self evolved, but mostly we precise it to be stated in there. So this energy is going to come in, it's going to be walked uh, in there. There's going to be powerful uh, times. The moon is going to be at Gemini. So uh, during these precious moments uh, in there, I would say, look what you have in a Capricorn, what you have at uh, Gemini, because that intuition is going to be there. The intuition is going to be, let's be a friend. 
okay you put that authority towards uh, within yourself in there uh but mars is going to be squaring the knots which is uh, the chiron and the knots they are coming together with these energies so it's going to be asking you what did you did and what do you do with yours is in the past mars destroys more than it builds more and it's going to be challenging you within yourself have you learned it with this energies that energy is going to be asking you did you learn from before did you got what you needed to do and that uh, energy is going to be really contradict within yourself okay because you're going to see in the past you may going to feel guilt shame and so on features within yourself that you had within your old self and you're going to see the new ones the new ones, they're going to be coming from Jupiter, though. It's trying and Saturn, there is sextiling Mars. You're going to finding all those energies inside of you. But the intuition is going to be a very powerful divide towards you. This is going to be this year. I'm talking about the year of uh, 2024. To remind you about something, is I'm going to send you, first of all, I'm going to send you a one year back is again about this point that was when we had a new moon uh, pretty much uh, together in there that was the sun pluto and the moon that energies as you see it they were focusing towards gemini and doing it, that uh, energies in there while we had that uh, situations here with uh, with leo so if you have a leo chart of leo's energies uh, in there within this time you're probably experiencing things far beyond anything in there because he had to learn to be a friend within yourself he had to learn something uh, with this because this energy is entering here at the aquarius he's gonna comes out and points out towards that uh, one degree that the first degrees of leo uh there so that's what happened uh, last year the last year the new energy water that comes in they came in very powerful i'm talking about this particular uh trines here i want to send you a one year even back we're talking about 2022 uh there as you see it right in here the sun and the pluto were very close but the pluto was still at capricorn but we had that energies walking in the same way who was there though that was a the north note and taurus okay so basically what you have right now is the north note is here right now with an uh, areas i'm gonna get you back uh into the present here that's what the north note is okay so this energy of what you're going to do right now with the north note is going to be very very much powerful embrace your new energies embrace your new empowerment because this is going to be going deep we're talking about the last uh, two three years they were deep but this year is going to be even more deeper because throughout this year we are going to have uh, mars mercury venus the moon is going to be circulating through there pretty pretty much but always preparing us for something even more greater and when I'm talking about more greater, the beginning of this period in there with Pluto shifting and the ignitions that the sun does to Pluto uh, during this shift is going to be reflecting even the next year. We're talking about the year of 2025. As you see it uh, right in here, the same date, the sun and the Pluto and the mid heaven, they are together. And that is going to be this sextile with the north node that is going to be entering the last degree of pisces we are going to go back into the psyche in there we are going to go diving deep that energy is going to be working deeply within your subconscious to override you what you thought it was is not what it is because the power of it is what it is the reality itself as a reality is will comes in and is trained everything out so that way you can live your real life and beginning to build 
real things, not on a base of a false reality, what you think it is. There's going to be a lot of turmoils, a lot of revolutions, a lot of evolutions uh, that's going to be at this time. And these preparations is going to be a very powerful. As you see it, this. As you see it right in here, we have a Venus and Saturn coming in together. We have the North Node and Neptunes coming in together. Okay? Mars is going to be opposing all the, that energy at some point. But uh, be mindful about that Mars is going to be at Cancer. This is going to be a strictly cardinal changes. They need the cardinal changes on Earth. And together with working with the universe, which is Uranus is up here, that energy is going to be manifest itself. And then Mars, if he does everything right, which is the masculine energies in there, they are going to be very beautiful from within. While the feminine energies, they are going to be learning the secrets beyond the veil of finding its true meaning of God, of the divine energies inside of it, within itself, that was not learned during the age of Pisces. And I'm going to be talking about when the portal is going to be opened. Here is your portal right in here. This is going to happen on 21st of January, 2026. Who do we have here? We are going to have, for exactly at this point, we are going to have Venus, which is the love, the power, and understanding about everything about love and money. We have Pluto, the deep transformations, that it's going to be happen at the consciousness. We have the authority, which is represents the sun. We have Mercury, which is represents the communications. And we have a Mars that represents the warrior. They are all coming in together. As you see it around uh, right here, Saturn and Neptune is going to be coming and working to itself together so they can be able to go ahead and crossing over the new beginning, the new visions, finding the new learnings, which is Saturn's will going to do. And we are going to be having this incredible power of energies that works with who? With Uranus that steals in Taurus. The needs of changes on the world, the needs of changes of the consciousness of the individual is going to begin to reflect the collective. And a spiritual speaking about this, those of you who are in the energies with the age of Aquarius, those of you who have something with an Aquarius within those degrees in there, you're going to feeling the power, the part of you as a you are that evolution don't wait for somebody else to come in and save your rear end. You have to move your rear end. You have to act on those energies. They're going to be pushing you. You're going to have a dreams, visions. Your subconscious is going to be uh, upgraded, improved. But most of all, you're going to be doing something great. That energy is going to be applied to everybody. As you see it, that piles of energies here at uh, Aquarius, that is when the, the portal is going to be open. Uranus is controlling Aquarius. And that is these blessings in there from all the pretty much planets at this time. We are talking about that Uranus is empowering all this within ourselves. And you are going to feel it. They are going to be there, but please do your inner work right now. That begins today. Do your inner work throughout the year. Prepare yourself for the next year of this time. Because when the portal is going to be open in 2026, what are you going to achieve? Because evolution is coming. The evolutions of humanity is coming. And people feel it. People sense it. They just don't know when. Now you know when it's going to happen. And uh, my wish to you is look within yourself and work on yourself. Because that's how the evolutions happen.
by the amount of the inner work you do with yourself, the love, the power, the new understandings, the navigations of your spirituality with an energy that will lead you to changes within your internal power, within your philosophy. That's going to change your psyche, your psychology within you. And all those three, they are going to be projecting within yourself the fourth point. That will be your actions. And when the actions are complete, that's going to be the fifth point within you. The satisfactions of your own living self within the universe, with the energies, with the love as the way it should be. And that is my wish for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests for your for your energies, how they're going to be affecting you, you can go ahead and you can send an email at the email below. And thank you so much for watching. Good love, guys.